food. Food never changes. In the year 2020, my great-great-grandfather, Video Game Mills, wondered if he'd ever been able to go to the supermarket and gather the essential ingredients to make the pork pot pie. He never got his wish. Due to the global crisis and panic, the end seemed closer than we could have imagined. And then, one day, BAM! It happened. Video game mills, gone. The year is now 2146. To think all that remained of VGM was a blue and yellow suit and a Pip-Boy. Booting up the Pip-Boy greeted me with an oddly familiar friendly voice. This is a text to audio encrypted recipe log number 0-2-8. Audio begin. You should now see the ingredients required for this recipe. Please pause the audio log and take notes now. Let's begin. Heat a Dutch oven over a medium high heat with a dash of oil. Now you probably don't have access to a stove. So what I'm going to do is use a fire pit. I've gathered some wood and started a small fire. Whilst I'm waiting, I'll start to cut my vegetables. And if you struggle to find the ingredients, ask any traveling trader or try Diamond City. Wellingham gave me a few tips and insisted I name it after him. I couldn't find any pork, so I used Death Claw instead. You can barely taste the difference. Once warmed, place the celery, carrots, onion, leek, garlic, and cook until softened. At this point, the fire should be slowing down, which is perfect. Now stir in the pork, rosemary, and caraway seeds and reduce the heat to medium. Place the lid on and leave it for 10 minutes. After this time, remove the lid and add the following ingredients. Potato, bay leaves, stock, tomato paste, and the water. Place the lid back on and let simmer for 30 minutes. Now, you'll need to bring the fire back to life to help keep the pot cooking for so long. The flames will die down, but the heat will continue if the fire has enough wood. Whisk the cornstarch and remaining water together. Just add the cornstarch to the bottom of water and give it a shake. After 30 minutes, remove the bay leaves and add the mushrooms and cornstarch. Stir and simmer again for another 15 minutes. After the 15 minutes, you'll be ready to dig in. But if you've got the pastry, why not treat yourself? Just follow the instructions. This 
This is an instructional video brought to you by Vault Tech, ensuring a brighter future with you in it. Preheat the oven to 220 degrees Celsius or 400 Fahrenheit and cut the pastry to the shape of your serving. Egg wash the pastry. Bake for 15 minutes until golden brown. I pre-bake mine in a nearby settlement. Vault Tech, ensuring a brighter future with you in it. A brighter future? Huh. Yeah, right. After the 15 minutes simmering, season with salt and pepper. Place the pastry on top and enjoy. I suggest placing it into a food tin. It'll keep your hands warm and it's easy to store. Anyway, here it is. Deathclaw Wellingham, only mildly radiated. Thank you for using a Vault Tech issued Pip Boy. No matter who you are, you can cook.